Hi, this is Eddie with Sangfroid Web Design, and today I've got a quick video on implementing some basic structured data on your website. Um, so for this demonstration, I've set up a basic uh, WordPress installation using the default theme. Uh, you can see here's the website for Widget Co. Uh, if I scroll down, I've got some information here. Here's our logo. Here's our address, our phone, our operating hours, and some more maps to fill out the page. Now to demonstrate um, structured data, or in this current case, the lack thereof, I'm going to go to, do, to Google and search for the uh, structured data testing tool. And Google will return me the link to that tool. I can just click that here. I'm going to grab the URL of my website, and I can paste that into the tool here. Uh, test your structured data. So I'm going to paste in our website URL. I'm going to run a test and see what Google finds. Um, so the only structured data they find, which is listed over here on the right, is this Hentry node. And basically, uh, it's something that uh, WordPress puts in that uh, defines what the content, specifically the content of a page is. So if you look at a website, it could have a header and a footer and a sidebar. And all those things aren't necessarily the actual content relevant for that page. So this structured data here defines what the content, and as you can see under entry content, it starts with our address and the relevant information. So what we need to do is get Google to know more about our company um, that's relevant. So we're going to install a structured data uh, widget on our site. So if I go into the admin, I'm going to go to plugins. I'm going to go to add new. And I'm going to search for uh, the particular one I like right now. It's a WP SEO structured data schema. And hopefully WordPress finds it. Here it is. I'm going to click install now. Give that a minute to download. It's installed. Now I'm going to activate it. Uh, and once I do so, I will now have this tab down here. Um, in my dashboard. So I'm going to click that and that'll bring me to the settings for the widget. And all I got to do is basically fill out this information. Uh, the website URL, WordPress knows to get it um, from the WordPress installation. Type of business, I'm going to select local business. For most people, that's appropriate, but there are some, as you can see, animal shelter automotive business that are specific to a business type. But if um, if your type of business doesn't fit into any of those, just go with local business that contains all the information that we need. The name of our organization is Widget Co. Uh, site image. Um, if you have a, uh, a brick and mortar business uh, and you have a storefront, I would suggest uh, just taking a photo of your storefront. Um, we're an online business, Widget Co., so I'm just going to show a screenshot, which I've already taken, of our website. Um, and so this is good for any online business. Just take a screenshot of the front of your website. I'm going to select that. Uh, next, um, price range. So price range is defined by a number of dollars, where $1 is $1 sign is uh, very inexpensive. Two to three becomes average. Uh, four and up um, mm. means high end, expensive. Um, so you, you might want to define that to sort of meet, um, set your customer expectations. Um, you know, if you if you're a high end place, put that it's kind of expensive. That way, you don't get a lot of calls from people that uh, probably won't be um, viable customers. The site telephone, uh, I've already written it out here, but um, it has to be in this particular format with the country code at, at the beginning, uh, only hyphens to separate it. Um, just make sure that that's, uh, that's accurate uh, in that format. Um, additional types, these are um, uh, definitions, official definitions of business types. Um, and usually you use like a link to a Wikipedia page that defines that type of business. And if that's appropriate to you, um, you should do a search for additional type and see if there's uh, something that, that's accurate for your business. Um, but we'll just leave that blank for now. For description, we're going to say Widget Co. makes the best widgets on earth. Well, it's true, we do. Um, hours of operation. Um, also, this is formatted, it has to be formatted a specific way. They give you instructions here. 
I've pre-done Monday through Friday, nine to five. Um, you know, it's military time there. Uh, the coordinates, so getting your latitude and longitude, most people, it's not something they know, but it's pretty easy to do. Just go to uh, uh, Google Maps. And I'm going to copy my address that I've already saved here. I'm just going to paste that in. Google find it. And you can see it's marked right here. Um, and to get the latitude and longitude, just put your mouse over the marker, right click, and then select what's here. Google will show you this little window here. And then you can just right click on the latitude, copy it. I'm going to go back to my settings, paste in latitude, go back to my longitude, copy that, and paste that in. Then we manually enter the country or the address info. So United States, uh, the locality, we're going to go with New York, the region, aka state, New York, and locality was city. Uh, they say locality and region, I guess, to make this sort of global and not necessarily United States centric. Um, but they show it here, city state underneath. Postal code, pull that off my address and the street address, pull that off of here as well. So I've got that information in there. Last thing I have to enter is my organization logo. So um, I've already got that in my media library here in WordPress, select my logo and that's it. I'm gonna save the changes. Six settings successfully updated. So I'm going to hop back to the structured data testing tool. I'm going to click on new test. Um, it's preserved my website URL here, so I don't have to paste it in. I can just click run test. And now we see over on the right that Google, in addition to the Hentry structured data node, has also found this local business and website. So website is just pulling from because the website information is inside of our local business information. Um, but that's helpful to have. But then if we go into local business, you're going to see that now we've conveyed to Google all our official information. And so they know without any doubt that this image is an image of our business, that this price range is our official price range, that this is our official telephone, our official business name, our official logo, an official description of what we do, the official hours. Um, and these are good if you're a, a brick and mortar business, because I don't, if you've ever looked uh, for a business at Google, um, when you find it, they'll tell you right there, closing in two hours, closing in three hours. So for Google to know your official times you're open is very useful. Um, our official logo is here and here's our official address. And this is um, some of the most important information here because Google knowing your address officially helps them. Um, put you together with people that are searching online for a business like yours. And if you can define that you're in a reasonable area um, to the person searching, then Google's going to be more likely to show your business to them because you are in proximity to them. Um, and that's the value of structured data uh, is that you make all this information official to Google. So they're more likely to be able to pair you with viable customers. Um, and that's how simple it is. So I hope this video was helpful and useful. And if you have any questions, get in touch with us. Thanks.